the main character of the comic book is Drake McCoy. Um, he's a marksman. Um, but unlike his fellow marksmen, he's the guy who never really felt like he fit in. Um, the world that he's grown up in is totally connected. Uh, everybody has this technology called shades. They're like sunglasses with heads up displays and you know, it's what everybody's cell phone is today, but over your eyes. And everybody's gaming, everybody's you know, social networking, but he just was never into it. And so he's the guy who goes out and he's like a ranger. You know, he leaves the city, he finds resources that the people need and he comes back. But he never really feels part of the group. And uh, his journey is going to be about how he can reconcile that and how he can, you know, do his job and at the same time understand and care for these people that he's got to protect, even though they're very different than he is. As a screenwriter, I'm used to having actors uh, read the lines I've written and having uh, set dressers create the world uh, you know, that I've envisioned on paper. Uh, with comic books, it's kind of a different animal because it's the reader who has that voice in their own head you know, that brings that character to life. And they're the ones who make those transitions seamless. Uh, they bring it all to life themselves by reading. And um, it's a very, very satisfying thing to write a comic book because it doesn't require, you know, uh, an army of people to bring it to life. You've got really a small group of people, dedicated artists, uh, like Javier Aranda and Tom Coker and Gary Leach. Um, you know, for me, I, I'm like the luckiest guy around. In my very first comic book, I have these fantastic artists uh, who've been able to take what I've written and, at least for me, uh, all, all the characters jumped out as, as living personalities, you know, straight out of the, out of the box. Uh, I hope the readers feel the same way and I really hope you enjoy Marksman.